Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to tell you reasons people get deported from Ukraine. I know that when I make Ukraine related videos, I try to talk about how to get into the country, what to expect and all of that. But now I'm going to tell you what you should do or what you should prevent so you don't get deported from the country. Number one, getting deported at the airport. And I'm going to start with this because this is the most important and honestly, this might be something that can happen due to lack of information. I know that when I first came to Ukraine, this particular law or rule wasn't there. So it's just something that started off recent. And this applies to new students who are just getting into the country. Now, if you're a new student, you just landed at the airport, you're at the checkpoint, you can get sent back to your country without even leaving the airport. Why? I'm going to mention some of the reasons. Number one, if you don't have cash on you, now, as a new student, when coming to the country, you might be too scared to carry a lot of money on you because you're worried that you might lose it or someone can steal it or anything like that. When you land in Ukraine, they are going to ask you to show the amount of money you have with you. Why? They want to see this cash or they want to see this money so that they will be sure that you're not going to be a burden or a hindrance or you're not going to be stranded in their country. Showing this money proves that, okay, yes, you can actually afford to take care of yourself. And if you tell them, oh, I have money in my card and stuff like that, they might not believe you. So I know it might be scary or I know that you might not be so comfortable traveling with money with you But for your own good travel with the money keep it safe so that you can show it to them when you get to the airport Now the second reason why people get deported right there at the airport is because they don't answer some of the questions that they are being asked What are these questions that they will probably ask you? They can ask you the name of your university I know this might sound crazy, but some people come to Ukraine and they don't even know the name of their university. So if you don't know the name of your university, you are going to get deported. Another question they can ask you is the address of the hostel of your university. Now the thing is, every university in Ukraine, well, most universities that I know of, they all have their various hostels. So you need to find out before getting to Ukraine, you can ask your agent whether or not you're planning to stay in the hostel, you have to know this information. Another question they can ask you is what is the name and the phone number of the person coming to pick you up from the airport? A lot of people when coming to Ukraine, they don't know the name of the person coming to pick them. They might have the phone number, but they don't know the person coming to pick them. And why? They believe that, oh, my agent has it covered and everything. No. These days, you need to know this information. Now, the truth is, they might not ask you all of these questions, but there's a high chance they might ask you two or three out of the ones I just mentioned now. I know some of the information might be in Ukrainian language or Russian. For example, the address of the hostel, but try to learn it, try to memorize it before you get on the plane because they will ask you these questions. The next reason why people get deported from Ukraine is because they got expelled from school. Now, this could be for various reasons, but the most common reasons why people get expelled is because of school fees. Now, when the semester starts, they do have a deadline of when you can pay the school fees. When you exceed this deadline of paying school fees, you get sent out of classes, okay? You get sent out of classes until you can pay your school fees and then you come back to school. The number of absence you keep getting increases. Now, it gets a certain number that even if you pay your school fees, the school will not allow you to rework these classes because you won't be able to rework them all before the end of the semester. And when this happens, you get expelled. Now, the minute you're expelled, your student visa isn't valid anymore in the country. Then you automatically become an illegal person in the country. When this happens, you can get deported. The third reason why people can get deported from Ukraine is because of incomplete documents. What I mean by incomplete documents, this means whether your public car has expired or any other important documents. I remember when I was in Padfak, a student then that was in his first year in my university, he got expelled and deported from the country. Why? His profit car expired and they kept telling him to go and renew it. He kept stalling and stalling and stalling and then he finally got expelled and deported. For my school in particular, they will call you and let you know that, oh, this document is missing, do something about it and all of that. And then after you don't do anything about it for a while, then you get expelled. So I haven't heard of any situation when people got expelled on our ways. Usually they are being told beforehand. So if you find yourself in this situation, please try to fix whatever document is missing before things get out of hand. The fourth reason I know that people get deported from Ukraine is for breaking the law. This could be so many things. Violence, this could be for smuggling of anything illegal. Anything that you can think of that is bad or probably illegal or probably against the law, you can probably get deported because of this. So please try and avoid this as much as you can. Now on a side note, some people when they get expelled, 
for whatever reason they don't want to leave the country so they stay in the country illegally they try to hide and everything the minute you are caught you are going to be deported now the reason why it's better to go back to your country when you get expelled than wait to get deported is because when you get expelled you can go back to your country and reapply to get back into ukraine but if you decide to stay in the country illegally and you are caught you are not coming back to ukraine they are going to deport you that's permanent you cannot reapply again so please try to avoid this as much as you can another side note i want to chip in is some foreigners they come to ukraine and then they marry um citizens and then they stay in the country getting married to a ukrainian or getting married to a citizen cannot stop you from being deported so please don't try to see marriage as a shield that will stop you from being deported no it will not stop you from being deported now also if you believe that you're about to be deported for a wrong reason for example if you believe that um they are charging you for a crime you did not commit if you feel that you have a right document and they're accusing you of not having a complete document or anything like that feel free to get a lawyer get a lawyer to stand by you or get a diplomat from your country i know that for a lot of foreigners their embassies are in ukraine so contact your embassy and try to get things sorted out now for my last tip as i've said again always have a picture of your international passport and your covid card on your phone at all times just in case of anything you can show the proof that you are not illegal in the country i know a lot of people are trying to get into ukraine but they don't know how i will always recommend sources agency they are my agents they have helped me and they have helped a ton of people to get into this country without any problem i am going to drop the link to their instagram handle feel free to text them dm them they are going to respond to you they have been doing this for years i can guarantee you that you will not have any problem if you use sources agency i know that today's video was a bit more serious than i try to make my videos to be but that is because i believe that this information is very important for you to hear so you don't get into any kind of trouble i hope you find this video very informative i hope you never have to be in any of these situations good luck and see you in my next video bye